we're going to be looking at a quadratic equation and a quadratic function. We're asked to first solve the quadratic equation, 3x squared minus 4 equals 0, and then find the x-intercepts of f of x equals 3x squared minus 4. Let's start by solving 3x squared minus 4 equals 0. We are going to use principle of square roots because there is no x term. We add 4 to both sides of the equation and we divide both sides by 3 and we have x squared equals 4 thirds. If x squared equals 4 thirds, then x must equal the square root of 4 thirds or x must equal the opposite of the square root of 4 thirds. Now typically, we give our answers with rationalized denominators. So let's rationalize these denominators. We have x equals the square root of 4 thirds as one solution. If I multiply inside the radical sign by 3 over 3, this gives me x equals the square root of 12 over the square root of 9. The square root of 12 is 2 times the square root of 3. The square root of 9 is 3. So I have x equals 2 times the square root of 3 over 3. The other answer we had was x equals the opposite of the square root of 4 thirds. And doing a similar type of rationalization, multiplying by 3 over 3, it's going to look exactly the same, only be a negative sign out front. I have neg the opposite of the square root of 12 over the square root of 9, or x equals the opposite of 2 times the square root of 3 over 3. So the solutions are, in simplified form, 2 times the square root of 3 over 3 and negative 2 times the square root of 3 over 3. These can also be written as plus or minus 2 times the square root of 3 over 3. Now, we are asked to find the x-intercepts of the function f of x equals 3x squared minus 4. You'll notice 3x squared minus 4 equals 0 is the equation we solved just now. The x-intercepts are the points at which f of x is 0. So we solve this for 0 in order to find the x-intercepts, which we just did. These solutions, 2 square root of 3 over 3 and negative 2 square root of 3 over 3 are the first coordinates of the x-intercepts. So for part b, I can say the x-intercepts are, I'm going to start with the first one that we come to on the number line, which is the negative number, negative 2 square root of 3 over 3, 0, and 2 times the square root of 3 over 3, 0.